Okay, let's uh, move on and talk about the realty space. Uh, Parvez Kazi is joining us uh, with more on that. Parvez, uh, we are looking at the data which shows that the growth in volume terms, at least in the top seven cities of India, is very healthy. And the uh, subsequent rise in the stock prices as well. Out of the universe of real estate stocks which you track, uh, talk to us about how valuations are faring. Some of the Oberoi's and the macro techs of the world appear 60, 70 times, 100 times. Depending on, depending on whose estimate we are talking, uh, uh, which are the ones which are still not very stretched on valuation in your view? Hi, uh, good afternoon. Uh, so the correct way to value real estate stocks is frankly on the cash flow, which is anyway of the DCF basis. Uh, relative valuation parameters like P or EV equity doesn't really work in this sector because of the accounting policies, uh, which work on the project completion. Uh, Ideally, you should look at cash flows because they give you a better idea about the current financial performance of these companies. Uh, so when you look at the cash flow metrics, most of these stocks are currently trading uh, on par with their NAV, uh, which is you would consider fair considering that uh, the housing cycle is in an upturn and most of these companies are reporting very strong operating numbers. Uh, going ahead, we do not believe that there is likely to be any uh, further re-rating trigger in the near term. That is probably one year down the line when you might see some comfort coming on interest rate cut. Uh, so at least over the next 6 to 12 months, uh, stock performance will be driven by operating parameters like pre-sales growth, which we expect will be anywhere between 20 to 30 percent for most of these companies. Uh, right. And, uh, you know, right now, if you're looking at it uh, in the real estate space, anything that is looking exciting to you, what would you look at over there in terms of the top picks for there? Uh, our top pick uh, has been DLA for quite some time. We continue to remain bullish on the name, uh, considering uh, the lack of competition in the Gurgaon market uh, and also the strong balance sheet and cash flow for the company. Apart from that, we also like some of the Bangalore-based players like Bigit Enterprises because again, uh, there the sales momentum is uh, pretty strong. So these two are our topics in the real estate space. But nevertheless, as I said, housing segment is in an up cycle. So most housing companies are going to do well both operationally as well as uh, from a stock price point of view. Hmm. Right. So, you know, last 24 months we've seen that the cycle has really turned around. And whenever this cycle actually turns around, it usually is, is more prolonged, 3 to 5 year plus. Last cycle was 10 years back, but it lasted 5 year plus. Do you see, are you convinced when you talk to some of these large companies of the demand momentum, uh, the kind of supply which are coming on stream, that it may last another 3 to 5 years from here? Absolutely. Uh, two points uh, convince us from that. Uh, first, that house affordability remains at a very, very comfortable level. Uh, it is, in fact, now the second or the third best when you look at the last 25 odd years. Uh, so that convinces that this cycle is likely to stay here for the next four to five years. Uh, and the second is uh, on the supply side also, because of the industry consolidation, uh, supply continues to trail demand. In fact, that has been the case for the last four to five years, and which is why unsold inventory levels remain at a very, very comfortable level. Uh, so we are fairly convinced that this upcycle is uh, likely to stay for at least next four to five years. Right. Uh, but there's just one last thing I want to ask you also is in terms of the demand and the supply. Now, while uh, supply, obviously, we saw some healthy completions coming in in some of the towns and increase over there. But demand, whether you look at office leasing also, that was a bit subdued. That's a decline there as well. And, uh, you know, there's a slowdown in leasing from tech companies as well. Uh, any sort of a concern, sort of a worry coming in on the uh, demand side or how are you viewing this now? Uh, so office, in office space actually the situation is kind of reverse there uh, you are seeing very very healthy supplies coming in uh, on the other hand demand is weak uh, both from uh, foreign companies largely because of the recession in the developed markets uh, and also from domestic companies because of the SEC issue uh, here we feel that demand is unlikely to pick up at least in this fiscal any kind of uptick in absorption will probably come only in FY24. So yes, office space is likely to remain weak at least for the rest of this fiscal as well. 
Okay, thank you so much always for joining in with us uh, this afternoon and uh, giving us an insight on the real estate sector. But thank you so much for that. But let's move on and talk about uh, Delta Corp, staying with the GST.